Hello, artist. How are you today? Stephanie Ani coming to you from Concord, California. For it is the 23rd today. Yes, it is the 23rd. 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th. I have seven days. Actually, I don't have seven days. I have six days left to pack. So, um, I'm going to get started on my book, which I really shouldn't be doing. I shouldn't be doing this at all. There are things that I need to finish to make money. Make these guys. I need to work on these. But they're getting set aside for right now because I have the book in my brain. And until the book is done, um, I, I have a very hard time just jumping in between projects. And I had a really, really, really wonderful lunch yesterday with Kat Austin in after afternoon, actually. And she was the one who won the, the prize. But I don't get a chance very often to just sit down and talk with artists and talk about um, seeing what she's making. I mean, she made me some wonderful, I should show you guys the wonderful things that she made me. Um, and... But for, we, I showed her the book, and as we're going through it, she's helping me to formulate ideas on ways to finish certain pages, on things for future pages, including some. I mean, she. I think she'll give me the showstopper idea, and that's definitely credit to her. So once I get there, um, it's gonna be cool. It's all I've got to say is that this 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 last page, the big top, it's it's gonna be phenomenal. And those little touches that we talked about that I hadn't I hadn't come up with, but I was, you know, trying to work through things, trying to figure it out. But a wonderful conversation like that can really, really, really um, inspire us as it should. As it should. So I want to see what you guys are making. Um, and I really wish you would go over to um, the uh, Messy Hand Band of Artists group um, and share your work with me. I don't care if it's inspired by another artist. I don't need you to talk about the other artist. I just want to see your work. And that's that's what's important to me. I want to see what you're doing. I want to see what you could be inspiring me as much as I'm inspiring you. I don't care if you, you know, paint in oil paints florals. I would love to see it. I want to see what you make. Um, because it's inspiring for me. And, and I want to open up the conversation from artist to artist, you know, um, because it's healthy and it's good and it's good for us to support each other and to um, have open hearts, you know. Um, I've just got so much that I just went through in my brain that I'm not saying. <laughs> it's just it's zoom, 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 zoom. No, nope, no, nope. edit, 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 edit. I want to see what you're doing. Is the bottom line, and. Um, Again, it's not like um, I, I don't really necessarily want you to uh, advertise somebody else's page on online. I don't think that that's really the wonderful way to do it. But if you're doing a blog or if you're doing a video, if it's you doing it, one of my one of my artists, one of my friends, I would love for you to share that link. Um, because we do need to have an open conversation about art. And right now we're all one-sided. And that doesn't make me happy. Okay, guys. Um, that's all I wanted to say, I guess. Thank you, everybody, for your wonderful support. Thank you, you new Patreons. You do have some new videos up. I don't know if anybody's watched them. But you have some new videos up. Um, have some great circus images up there. And uh, I'll think about a, a good thing for uh, February. If anybody can think of maybe a, a project that we want to do, uh, that would be great. I would love to see that. Um, 
you know, kind of working on the cards this month and the circus images, but we'll see about actually figuring out a good project. You know, I love making my canvases, so um, I will do something like that. I'm going to have to start making more of them too, because I have to start, have to start applying for shows. I have to move. I have to go to the bank today. Anyway, this intro is far too long. Okay, we'll chat soon. Love you guys. Bye. Okay, guys, I'm back again. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, have I decided? No, no, I haven't really decided yet. I think I could make... Um, I think I could make it really cool if I did the push-ups. But, here's another thing to consider. When I did the uh, other ones, I don't think I want to do the push-ups, actually. And here's why. If we look at this page, so I have this here, and it only goes up about half, halfway. So I want these to be taller than this. I want my acrobats to be way up high. So, how do I do that? I think with the push-ups, I would be really limited. I don't think I could get it all the way up to where I want it to be. So... I don't think that I'm going to do that. And on this one, so if we look at the height here to the height there of what we're building, this would go up highest still. So. I don't think that I can do that. Uh... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What am I making, guys? <laughs> Wowza! Those that will sit on top of those other ones. Let's uh, put the rings in and see what that looks like first. Let's you know, let's do this sequentially. You know, let's really think about how much space we have and what we can do with things. So, on this one, I am going to need the crocodile. I think I can get some smaller ones with these guys. Let's go with the 3 sixteenths. Make sure I know where I'm going here. I think the five rings will be good. It's going to be a lot, but I want to be able to put one band of things on two of them and one band on another two and three, you know, and just kind of vary where I'm having to attach these different 
things that all have to sit inside of here, right? So we need to really be conscious of what's going to fit inside of there, including one, two, three, four flaps. So we're going to have another inch that way. So we've got, we've got room, but we're going to have to fold those over also. We're going to fit in there as much as we can. That's the goal. Because <laughs> why not? Okay, let's, let's take our time. Let's be smart about this. Where's my metal ruler? Let's get a metallic pen here. Metallic pen. Let's get our good ruler. All right, so I just was looking here. 20 is really pretty easy to work with, right? So we're gonna do this with centimeters because I think it's just easier. Sorry, I just warmed up my coffee here, so I'm... Okay. So... We're going to take our 10 mark here. And I'm going to go two in here. I'm going to go two in there. So then we have... All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Half of eight is four. One, two, three, four. Right? One, two, three, four. See? That was pretty easy, huh? Okay, so let's... Let's make sure we just make these line up just right. Because, you know, we don't want this to be wrong. So it was a little bit over 20, so I just kind of centered it here. 14, 10, 6. Just trying to make sure that it's as much at a 90 degree angle as possible. And yes, we are going to take our time with this and measure this properly because if we want this to work right, we have to make sure that each one of these is in its proper place. I wish we could have this little bit that's up top. We're not going to address it until the end, but... Um, so I guess these are eyelets, not rivets. <laughs> it's me. I like calling them rivets. But I guess they're eyelets, so I should use the proper terminology. Um, I'm really going to, these are all 3 16 size, some of them might be a little bit smaller. I'm going to mix and match these. I'm going to protect and resurface. I have to decide how I want to string these through here and what type of spacing that I want in between each of them. So our maximized, maximum space is really going to be dictated by how deep I want this rivet or this circle thing to sit into the book in the back, you know? So if I go like right there and right there Let's just see what that looks like. Um, so 
I'm just going to use this guy here for this one. Come here, baby. There. Right there. Now, if I need to cover up this one hole and redo it again, I will do that. This is our tester, you know, sometimes you, I probably should have tested it. Actually, that's what I should have done. I should have tested it on a different surface. Okay. That is perfect. Right? Right, right, right? Right. Now, I'm going to put the eyelets. See, it's a little tough getting that guy in and out of there. And I think if I put the eyelets in there, it's going to even be more difficult. But let's try. And again, I want to be random with these guys. I don't want to have to go, oh my gosh, I used the wrong one here. Um, that, that's not what we want to do. So... Oh, you have to use the crocodile. Now it does appear that I have two different sizes there. And that might serve us well, actually. Now, the only thing that I'm uh, kind of forgetting about is decorating this back piece. Now, that stands up absolutely perfectly. Beautiful. All right, let's address this black piece of tape here. Should we just paint it? Put a piece of deli sheet over the top of it. Or just keep going <laughs> because I'm impatient. <laughs> uh, don't be impatient. I know me. Okay, so if I put acrylic paint down, I'll be able to come back over the top of it with the gelatos. Um, or I could put black gesso down. This guy is just sitting here on my desk, so... I still might use that piece. Just a piece of scrapbook paper here. This is just some antique gold acrylic. I'm just using something here to give this uh, just a little bit of something. No matter what, we're going to have to address this background.
And I know I just covered up my lines. Uh, I'm gonna redo them, right? Do a quick remeasure. This most likely won't be the final paint color on here. Beautiful. Next. Okay. I didn't want to have to keep going back and redoing that. So let's remeasure. And we want to have a pretty good idea. So that's 10. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Get it straight. So we're going to go right there and right there. I'm going to just eyeball it. Going about a quarter of an inch in on each side. Okay. Don't let that happen to that pen. That's a very expensive pen. Okay, now this is still a little bit wet, this paint. Probably shouldn't use my crocodile now. Famous last words. Okay, we're on the 316th hole, and we are trying to line that up as good as possible. As well as possible. As good as well. Does that one matter? I don't know. Okay, let's tuck this guy in. Try to line them up correctly, guys. Truly. You know, don't don't go halfway on things now. Oh. Well, you can also line it up here. It's got little marks under there. I didn't realize you had a ruler under here. This one got a little wide, but I think it's okay. All right, let's let's install the eyelets. And this has two. They kind of sit inside of each other. So one is a smaller one than the other. Uh, I just don't know which is which, and I don't think it really matters. They're all very close in size, and I'm trying to not give it a ton of pressure because that's how that. This she messes up. Come on. All right, so that's one of the bigger ones. That one feels like it had another one underneath of it. No, this one's just tougher. And really, the crop a dial is not 
give you a whole ton of force there behind what you're doing. Okay. Some of them didn't press through very, very well. I don't think that that's really going to matter in this case. So I'm not going to, I would take my hammer to them <laughs> because truly, you know, you know how I feel about this machine. So, all right, this is going to be the tough part. That one went to good. Now you see why this was this stage in the process. We had to get this established. Um, and see, I've given it plenty of room there. It's awesome. Once I get to the end. Look at how beautiful that worked. It worked. Yay. <laughs> we never know while I'm thinking of things, whether it's going to work or not in a practical sense. And that worked. Ta-da. And look how much space we have in there. Now, this is pretty wide, but again, uh, we know how to make the book work with this. Now that we've been able to cut it open and uh, reattach itself. Beautiful, huh? Ta-da! Okay. My nose is itchy today. I need to go take my allergy pills. Things are growing in California. Once you get any rain in here, it starts to grow. All right, so next stage, we need to cut out these. And we're gonna set this aside for a minute. We're gonna grab a cutter. There's Matt. Matt. Hello, Matt. And then I just bought an alternative one. <laughs> okay. These guys. Um, it's probably going to cut right through this mat, too. Truly, as I think about it. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to use centimeters again. Actually, I'm going to go three on the base and two up top. The reason for that is to give it as much stability as possible. Make sure you've got a 90 degree angle there. All right, and we're going to go two in here. And two, we're in there, about two. We're going to go here. And again, I'm just trying to make a steady, stable base. For my flyers. For my flyers. 
I might make them into spinners. There's a good chance I'm going to do that. Now you know that both sides of this are going to have to be decorated, right? Now, if you're doing any mat cutting or anything like that, which I had to do in art school, I had to cut mats for every single piece that I did. In one of my classes. This is how you do it. Exact same process. See? I think we got through there. No, we didn't get all the way through there. Don't do that. Do one more line. time. Don't make it crooked. Pride in your work. So I'm going to go through and do this one just like that. Okay, we'll be back in a second. Hi guys. Okay, so I've um, gotten these two cut. Remember, this is going to be for our trapeze artists. And um, I cut another one here. I went um, one and a half millimeter. Two millimeters, three millimeters by one and a half. And the reason why I did that was because I want to um, make sure that it stays sturdy. You know, the, I need to have, make sure that the tops and the bottoms, this, I don't like having that thin, but I, I needed to preserve the window somewhat. So uh, since I did that one, I could just... Uh, use a template for this next guy. Now just remember when you do a template that it's not going to be the exact same size because it's um, you want to cut on this side of the line instead of this side of the line. You don't want to do this one um, because you want to make sure so here's the difference. Remember this was one and a half millimeter. So if you go one and a half on the inside line, it's right. If you go on the outside, it'll be off. That's just something that I'm aware of. And, you know, when you get your pieces, you know, a, a, a minuscule amount different, it, it does make a difference. So just be careful about that. Just be cautious of what you're doing and how you're making it. And it's just basic craftsmanship, you know. Uh, it is going through this sheet. Again, I got it at the dollar store, so I don't know where Matt is. He likes to hide on me. So, uh, you know, it's just what it is. Would have been better to have that. But at least I have this cutting board. Now, you're better off doing four little cuts than one big monster cut. And, uh, you know, the first one kind of a scoring cut so that you can see where things are going to go. Uh, it's, it's good to have that score cut first. And take your time. It's not fun, but it doesn't take that long. You know, it's not that big a deal. Let's do it right. And, you know, be sure to keep an eye on your angles. You know, that 90 degree angle. 
visually can help you make sure that your line is straight because we don't want not straight lines. Ooh, get down into that corner and get down into that corner. There we go. Okay, we need to kind of work on that. This didn't go through. This probably needs a new blade. I can't remember what the last thing was that I was cutting with it. Um, obviously, it's a little dull. Always work with the sharpest blades possible. It is the safest thing to do. So you notice how I just didn't keep pulling on it. You know, I don't want it to tear. I don't want it to rip. Although I might just say, what the heck with it? What the heck is going on? Why aren't you going through there, buddy? This is that last little piece of paper. It doesn't want to go through. Those lines aren't matching up. There we go. Don't do too much of that, you know. There we go. There it popped out. Now, you could do this with, like, church windows. Wouldn't that be cool to do stained glass? Ooh, hold on. I just had a thought. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't have the room though. That's part of my issue. Come on, that's a dirty, that's a dirty looking uh, cut there. Oh my goodness. Let's go back here. Clean it up. Definitely needs a new blade. Should not have that hard a time getting through there. There we go. And dun dun dun. See? It's pretty perfect. Okay. Definitely put your knife away. Um, so, we're still just working on construction. Do I want to construct these? I do want to construct these first. Now, part of the reason for that is because the tape, we're going to have to deal with the tape. Hello. Okay. Okay, tape. Crazy. We know that I am crazy that I didn't want to do that. Pooper. Crazy. It's crazy. Alright, so let's uh, get this piece of tape right. There. So I've, I've got the piece of tape too large. And let's really look here. We want to make sure that we're the same width in there. And we want to make sure that we have room to fold. Now, do we want this to sit over the top? of whatever things are going to go in here, or do we want this to sit against the back? I think the safest place for it is going to be against the back. All right, so my next piece, I don't want to cut it like that. This is going to give us difficulties, so we're going to just remove it. Now, actually, what I could have done was just folded it over. That's what I should have done, because I wouldn't mind having that extra little tape in there. Okay. All right, we're going to fold that over. Let's 
Learning as we go, right? Beautiful. You see how I'm pressing that in there first? That's going to really ensure that we've got enough space here. Beautiful! This should be about three inches. Jeez. Line it up center. I need to go get in the shower. Okay, I messed up there again. Okay, here and here. And then a quarter inch there. this up here and this here bring that down that's what I should have done over here and you know you want to make sure that these are going to go up straight and you know straight up and down that I feel is important so Lining up the tape. Didn't really line it up perfect. Come on, buddy. There we go. But it has plenty of space to work with here. Still see what I'm doing? Do I have you guys too close today? It's a lot to it's a lot to see, I know. So this needs to be cut down by a quarter inch since we are adding that space to it. See? Not even quite a quarter inch, eighth of an inch. We want it to line up as much as possible right there. And I don't know why I'm putting this up there. It just kind of feels like it would be a cool element. You know what I mean? And what I want to do, of course, is cut this angle up to there. I want to follow that angle. So that that makes sense and maybe have a, a pointy, pointy top up here. So, I mean, you would do this if you were constructing some sort of house or uh, something, you know, you know. I mean, 
your, your possibilities are endless with this, with what you could do. I think a church would be really cool with making stained glass patterns in there. Uh, what I would do is, is make, you know, four of these. Well, you know, here, you know, that's that single frame concept where if you have a frame, you can put anything inside of it. And honestly, that might be the way to make it the most secure possible is to do a double frame on that. But let's see here if we did that and we did that. And that's just so that you can, then you're really adding a bunch of bulk to it, but it's really still not that bad. I don't know if I need to do that. Uh, I mean, that would, I would have to make two more of these and two more of these in order to do that. But it would make things super strong. And I could do like a stained glass window behind it. And not, not stained glass, but it would kind of look like the lights. You know how you'd have the spotlights under there? I could put colors behind it, transparent colors in here, and then put my image over the top of the transparent colors. I think that I kind of have to do that. I think I think I do. Um, I can take sharpies on acetate. I could take oh. <gasps> Okay, guys, I'm going to, I've got to go get ready for my day. I've got a bunch of stuff I have to go and do today. Um, I just had an incredible idea for this window page. It's now going to be a flip up window page. I figured out how to make it spectacular. Uh... <laughs> wow, if that works, if it works, it'll be incredible. Now that would mean that the, the person isn't going to spin in there. Um, but that's okay because the spinning part, I don't know if that's necessary. I would still like to make them move. So it's possible like with a Brad um, or something like that, that I could give them space to move. That's, that's a really good idea. Where's my girl? Where's my flying girl? Hopefully I haven't cut her up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Where is she? <laughs> okay. Uh, I've, I've, I've got the imagination going and you know how I am as I'm building I'm thinking about how to make it better, how to make it better all the time. So uh, that's just what I'm up to. Okay, I think this has to be like a barbershop painted flagpole. Stripes. That's that plan. Maybe. <laughs> Wait. Wait till you see. Okay. Um, this will be the end of this video. I think uh, you've had enough uh, information for one day. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut two more of these. Two more of these. Okay. I mean, it's not fun. Keep, you know, making, making, making more stuff, but you know, if it makes the difference on the piece, then why not do it? Right? And it will make a difference. It will make an incredible difference. <laughs> it's a flip frame page. <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> okay, guys. We'll chat soon. Love you. Bye. Hi, guys. Hello, artists. Okay. Just uh, kind of just taking a quick glance through the book here. 
Um, <laughs> oh, the idea is for the front and the back. <laughs> Thanks again, Kat, for um, doing the brainstorming with me. Oh my gosh, it, it's going to be cool. It's going to be cool. Okay, I'm actually going to pull you up here a little bit. Sorry. Um, working on the big top, the big show. So, still um, thinking about this page. And then, uh, you know, I'll be taking out a section of this. And then, I don't know. I don't know. The This guy's got me pretty occupied with my brain right now. Um, I, I'm preferring to go sequentially and I'm jumping around and I don't love that. As you know, that's just me. I don't love that. Okay, so I have decided that I'm going to make all of these frame pages. Like that. So, I need to make... And I do need the flagpole. That's the same height. That is the same height. Okay. But no, I need this guy first. There you another little square. Hmm. Okay, so the other thing that I have decided to do too is I was I was I think I just changed my mind on this this morning when I woke up. Because I was struggling with how to um, do these pages. And I think the way that I'm going to do these pages here should be the way that I follow it through here. So everybody's going to get their own window, their own spotlight. I think that that will really create some great dynamic scenes where everybody kind of has their own focus. Now, these are going to be somewhat transparent, but um, semi-transparent being the key word. So, let me uh, sit here. I don't know what this was to. So, what I need to do is I need to make two more of those times two. And I need to make two, what size was this one? Is this 8x4? Yes. No, it was, should be under 8. 7.5x4. Times. I need two of those. All right. And then what I need here, remember we need it to sit in, so we're going to do four and a half there, by will that give us enough room? Seven and a half. Does that look like? Let's actually look and see how big this is. Seven and a half here is. We go there. One, two, three, four, five, six, six and a half. So this is basically six and a half here. Seven and a half is going to give us just what we need to have a little bit overage, and we can still fit those in there. Now, I'm actually let's go to, let's go to seven and a quarter, and I want to have. minimum of three, but I'd like to have five because three's too easy. <laughs> so I need to have 
I'm gonna do frames for all of them. Okay, so uh, if I'm gonna do six of them, no, I'm sorry. One, two, three. Let's do three of them to start, uh, let's do four of them to start out with. How about that? We just need to see how much space we have and I'll just keep at, piling it up. Um, so we need that one times six minimum or six would make three of them. Six or 10. For this page. For this flip. Okay, so then if that's at four and a half, we need this the 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 next flip out to be less because we need to fold in. So it's at four and a half there. So it's only going to come out to here. in here okay that's five inches yeah four and a half is where we have to have that it is it is okay so then let's go um four by seven and a quarter and again it's gonna be the second part of the flip out and we're gonna need six or ten of those Depending on if I make, I've got to make five pages. I have to do five pages. It's a lot of cutting. That's a good thing I have a brand new package of chipboard because I'm going to use all of it. <laughs> uh... But it'll be worth it when it's done. It'll be so cool. So uh, I'm going to go get started on that, actually. You know, I wonder if I could use this board for the top of the frame. Or the back of the frame, technically. I think that would give us strength. I think that would give us strength enough and it would save us room. And as we know, even though I've built a lot of room here, that room goes, disappears very, very quickly. Now the chipboard would be super strong. But, uh, this cardstock is really quite thick. And part of me wants to switch the black cardstock again because decorating all of these, um, I don't want to use my black cardstock. I use it for other stuff. That was whiny. <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm going to just start cutting things out is what I'm going to do. Um, I need to find that little one by one spot. One by one -er. One by one by one -er. Another one inch. Just to make sure it goes over that line. But we really actually don't want it too far over that line. There we go. Where's my tape? Hiding again. Things in my world like to hide on me. <laughs> I don't know why. Ah! Stop it! Well, that was poo. See? pieces of tape. This is, this is, this flagpole has become very, very important. Um, <laughs> wait till you see what's gonna happen. Wait till you see what's gonna happen. 
I can't wait for you to see what's gonna happen. It's gonna rock, rock, rock. It's gonna roll, roll, roll. It's gonna rock, rock, rock. We're gonna make sure that that's lined up with that and that we're giving it plenty of space to fold. And we're gonna, um, we need this guy, yep. And we're gonna make sure that that's lined up and that it has plenty of space to fold. Hey guys, wait till you see what's gonna happen. I don't know how I'm gonna make it work. That's pretty well lined up there, isn't it? Let's look here. And, ow. That'll be just right. Okay, flagpole's gonna have to go up first. Mm. This isn't gonna be easy. <laughs> but, you know, easy's boring. <laughs> So what I'm concerned about with putting the flagpole in here is, you know, uh, this has to sit over the top of everything else, and it's not going to be able to sit over the top of everything else. See? I'm just figuring out. So I might have to put another hinge in there. Might not be able to do the flagpole like that. How else could I do the flagpole? Make some sort of slider, which will be tough. Oh my gosh. What about like one of those selfie stick things? <clears throat> You still have to have space. Yeah, I can't. I can't do that because I have to have space for for um, the images, the inner frames. I could make it half this size, but then it's going to be really flimsy. It's going to go off of this premise, though. Um, maybe what I'll do is taper this in. Make it... Make it something. Because as soon as it hits this here, it has to, it has to be at its skinniest point. If it's at its skinniest point, I think we can put it there. Problem solving. We're just figuring this out. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, I think it'll be strong enough if I use this uh, cardstock. Use the chipboard for the mainframes, the cardstocks for the backers. So I still have to make a bunch of frames. So I'm going to just sit here and do this. Um, it's not going to be very exciting, so I'm not going to make you watch because we went through all that yesterday. But this is how I'm going to figure out my construction. You know, you just you just have to do it. Uh, you don't have to do any of this. <laughs> I have to do this. I have to figure out the construction. But wouldn't it be cool to use an old paintbrush here for the flagpole? The old beat up guy. Oh, speaking of that. Oh, cat. Yes. I need to I need to have my little inspiration guys out here. Okay, that's about the right height, but it's not gonna work in the book. Unless I uh snap it in two, which I'm gonna do here. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, the old paintbrush. I think that was one of my stubby brushes. It's been well used. It kind of hangs sideways. <laughs> okay, well, we'll come back in a little bit. I'm going to watch some TV because I can. And uh, then what I'll get to doing is I will um, edit all of this stuff together. And you'll have at least one video. You probably won't see this video until later. Um, but you'll see the beginning uh, video where I'm thinking through all of the steps. Okay. See ya. Bye. Okay. So I've been working on the frames, trying to keep everything straight. I've cut out my, uh, I still have this many to do. I still have 10 left. It is now 941 and I have been working on cutting out frames for at least two hours, probably longer. I think I woke up at what, 6, 630. So just to let you guys know that, um, this is going to be an excellent idea when it's done, hopefully, but it's time consuming. And it takes effort and to do something really stunning it takes a lot a lot of work this should be amazing when it's finished i'm hoping i'm hoping um but it doesn't always go fast and if you're <sighs> sometimes you can't make things in a half an hour you know we know that this project is probably going to be the topper. It's going to probably take me 30 hours. I mean, I've already put three hours into just making the frames. So, um, don't expect good to go quickly. Sometimes, sometimes you can get fabulous out of fast. Absolutely. Not saying you can't. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer. And, um, uh, for love of the craft and for for love of what's going to come out of it it's okay to take your time you know i'm i'm i am doing templates but i still have to make sure that they all line up and that they're all even and that my lines are straight um because crooked lines are not going to work at this <laughs> not at all it has to be good and it has to be right and um you know, sometimes it just takes extra time to do that. So, um, 9.43. I have things I have to do today. Um, so, two hours. Hoping I can get these last ten done in two hours. They take... So I'm, I'm, I'm doing five pages that'll have flips. So five, 10, 15, 20, I'll have 20 images that I'll be putting on these. Um, it, it's going to, and, and that's not to mention the tops. The tops are going to have also numerous, numerous images. So. Hopefully it ends up being the way I want it to look when it's done. Um, you know, we're never positive of that, are we? Uh, how will it look at the end? I don't know. I don't know. It's crazy. Uh, so I'm going to just kind of keep going through this. I'm going to give myself another hour and then I have to go. Uh, and do things before lunch hour so and then I have to pack I do have to pack today so and then I have to edit these videos and then I have to get them up to you and then all that all that has to happen <laughs> anyway I'm not freaking out it's just time consuming and I don't really have the patience today although I'm I am doing it the way that it needs to be done 
So I am, I am, I do have the patience, right? Right. Okay, guys. Um, that's enough babbling, but I just wanted to, to give you an update of where I'm at. I've got my top ones. I've got my bottom ones. I've got more top ones. This is not the fun part. This is not the fun part. And um, truly, you know, I'm sitting here thinking, it's like, how am I going to cover all of these? What am I going to do? How am I going to adhere it all together? What am I going to do for the backgrounds? What am I going to do for the photos? Am I going to, I'm going to have to fussy cut out uh, 10, 15, 20. I'm going to have to fussy cut out probably at least 24 images. It's crazy. It's crazy. It'll be beautiful when it's done, though. The 24 images fussy cutting, I don't know if I have the patience for that. <laughs> oh, God. I, I look like hell again. I'm just working. I'm just working. All right. It's blue skies out there. I should go outside at least for a little bit. I'm sorry. My hair, my hairball's falling off. There. That's my gorgeous long luscious hair. <laughs> okay. I'm going a little crazy. Just go a little nuts. All right. We'll chat soon. Okay. Bye. <laughs>